Hey guys, what is up? Kokosing Valley Model Railroad speaking well. I'm going to be doing a review on the River Aussie 080 switch engine, um, number 102, which is the common engine you will see by River Aussie, the 080. has gone by many names as the Indiana Harbor Belt engine, the Santa Fe engine, and many other names, the Redding 080. Um, this is a, uh, a River Rossi Oido, which is very, very different from the rest. Um, I bought this engine, the spare engine, from an antique store for $12. Now, the problem with this engine was it was missing the front end. It was missing a tender. And um, I had the tender, and I had a front piece. So I made another existing 080 come back from the dead. Uh, this one here, uh, it's a little more, it's heavier than the other 080 I have. I have the Redding version. Now it's a little more lighter. This one has more weight in it, which is really heavy. Um, the performance on this engine is very, very good. Um, we'll look over some of the details really quick. It has the smokestack, the small smokestack up above. The... Um, Boiler, the steam steam dome or sand, probably the sanding dome. Steam dome and safety valves. A bunch of other stuff up here. We have the head, the headlight used to have a bell up here. Uh, and a good front end with some good couplers. Um, on the tender, on the other hand, the spare tender I had, which I bought years ago from a train show when I was looking for a tender, and I found this tender. And it's got a KD coupler on the back. And it's got a good um, headlight piece on it. Uh, eventually, I'm going to put out another realistic coal load on this engine. Uh, the problem with dumping the load, like on the back here, there's a copper piece I do not want to cover up with coal. But just the top part, I can take this off and cover this with coal. Um, when I fill this puppy up to the brim to show like what a load was like on a steam engine. Um... So this is one of my River Rossi Oido switch engines. So, and we'll fire up and run her, which it runs. Uh oh, hmm, something is shorting out, and I can't place my finger on it. Let's see why. What's going on here? Well, we got two wires that were crossed. And that's not good. And um, now let's try again. We're trying to move forward. Or no, we can move backwards. Well, let's try to go forward. So this engine here is a, a very good engine, but it runs. Um, it still needs some work. There it runs. So the headlight runs on this engine quite well. It's a very smooth engine. It's a very larger engine. And this one will be getting a complete uh, cleanup and overhaul of the locomotive. So I want to at least get this engine running good. And I'll eventually want to figure out a name for this tender because it had no name. And the engine had a number, so I need to figure out a name for this engine. If you guys want to suggest a name for this engine or think out about a name to put on this engine, 
uh, please let me know in the comments below and, um, you know, subscribe to my channel down here and click on the bell icon and to get notifications what I'm up to on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is Cozing Valley Model Railroad signing out. You guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, whatever your day is like. See you guys later.